Buenos dias. Buenos dias, everybody. I'm Rob. And I'm Lori Marie Jenkins. And we are artists from Vallejo, California. <laughs> and we, we are, are moving, moving to, to Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Oh, my goodness. So, um, we we're actually here right now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't moved yet. This is our last scouting trip. Yes, and we spent, I don't know, how many hours traveling? A few. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe 24, I don't know, um, between the flights, between driving to the airport and our flights and layovers and uh -huh. driving here, which is Hermosa. Playa Hermosa near Jaco. Yeah. And we spent the night here last night, and we're going to spend the night here again tonight. Uh, we're going to meet Sarah Elena maybe for lunch today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it, it was pretty smooth Yeah. getting here. Um, tell them about our packages that we brought. Oh, okay. So what we're doing is we're sort of bringing some things down that we won't have to move later. Uh, we're moving to Costa Rica April 30th. And so on this trip, we brought one big Costco bin, uh, zip tied closed, and then we brought one big suitcase, and then Roy Marini and I each had a rolly bag and a backpack. So the rolly bag we brought on the plane with us. Uh huh. Actually, they checked mine for free, so that was a bonus. And then our backpacks went on the airplane with us. The uh, bin that Rob mentioned weighed how much? 60 pounds. 60 pounds. So we had to pay $135 for that bin to be shipped because it was over 50 pounds. Over, yeah, overweight. Overweight. So. And so if we could get that weight down, it would have been $30. It's a $100 extra, extra weight charge. So. Once it's over 50 pounds. Right. Right. So it's going to, even though it's dark, it'll still okay. continue to... Our screen just went dark, so yeah, here. that's weird. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's really good uh, pre-planning for what we want to bring when we move down, because we'll be definitely bring more stuff with us. So this morning, I have taken a shower outside. It was lovely. Um, it doesn't have hot water. It's just water out of the earth, uh, which was plenty warm enough. It was delicious. We did yoga. Yep. We did yoga in the yard here. Uh, lovely place. So yoga and a shower, and I'm going to be doing some slow stitching, just kind of relaxing. Yeah. And you are? Well, same thing. I had some coffee. Um, we don't have any creamer, so enjoying black Costa Rican coffee for now. No leche. No leche. <laughs> Todavía no. But uh, yeah, just kind of getting into the flavor of it. This is a really nice area. Um, we, we've got a great Airbnb for two nights, so it's it'll be good. We'll probably do some exploring, and we're honestly just going to relax a bit. This is a bit of a scouting trip and a bit of just a vacation from all the craziness that we've been going through in California. So tell them about finding the Airbnb. Oh, right, right. <laughs> so... I currently, uh, Lori Marie and I both have T-Mobile phone service, and so with T-Mobile it is useful in um, Costa Rica and many other countries, but it's it's limited usefulness. Um, they do have, supposedly they have Wi-Fi, I've never been able to get Wi-Fi on the phone, so navigating is tricky because we don't have Google Maps, Waze, anything like that, and maps are uh, somewhat inaccurate. So. I had pinned the location of our Airbnb on an app called Maps.me, and I don't know how they do it, but it's a mapping app without, where you don't need Wi-Fi. And so we got the right road, but we didn't know where the place was. And so without Wi-Fi, we couldn't call anybody. So, um, you know, asked some neighbors, found a place. <laughs> Wandered down to some property that we weren't going to be staying on. Sure, yeah. <laughs> that happens. Met some people. <laughs> Met some people, yeah. So, you know, that's one of the issues that I'll have to deal with in the future is we need our phone service from the states so that we can log into certain um, certain apps and websites with our U.S. phone numbers. And I know that there's options for porting your number and doing all kinds of things, but I'm not very tech savvy, so I haven't really delved into that. <laughs> well, we did find a place. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah. Uh, a neighbor down the road was able to tell us um, where he thought it was. Mm -hmm. And it was, and so we're here. Yeah, we were able to get the instructions and uh, check in and get the keys and 
It was a self check in, like a lot of them are. Mm -hmm. But absolutely lovely little place here. Um, we're just out on the front porch right now, and uh, he's got four little units. Uh, he's got a, a small pool, and just a hammock out front. So it's an idyllic spot. Yeah, I'm going to encourage Rob to lay in the hammock and read for a little while. Close his mind down a little bit. Gets mm -hmm. kind of busy with, <laughs> with to dos, and there's nothing to do right now. So right, right. Just kind of relax. Yeah, I kind of go into uh, future planning mode, and it uh, takes away from being in the present. So I don't imagine that I'm going to be able to completely stop that until we're here, but who knows? <laughs> so still a lot of conversations between the two of us. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So it seems like there was something else I wanted to touch on. Traveling, Airbnb, getting lost. Mm. I can't yeah. think of anything else. Can you? No, no. I mean, it's it's great being here, and um, we know there's going to be adjustments, and um, uh, so that's part of it. But uh, just being in this amazing location, and um, you know, the Costa Rican culture uh, is just something that we're we're somewhat used to already. But uh, there's a lot of things that are done differently here. I do want to touch on customs. Uh, when we got to customs, it was a sea of people, <clears throat> many, many people, and our luggage went through, and da 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 and one of my bags was pulled aside, and uh, so he had it on the table, and he asked me to open it, and he asked me to remove things, and I had brought some dog food uh, for Hudson for the future, and uh, he pulled the bag out and rustled it a little bit, and he said, do you have a dog? And I said, yeah, he goes, well, where is it? <laughs> I said, well, he'll be coming in a couple of weeks. So that was kind of cute. Uh, but that was the only thing that was questionable right. in our luggage. So not bad, not bad. And it looks like we may have lost an aerosol sunscreens, oh, two sunscreens. So. Yeah, so we had some spray sunscreen from Trader Joe's, um, the little blue things. and. I'm not sure they might be in another bin, but I have a feeling they were in Larry's orange bag. And so they go through everything uh, um, at customs. They make sure you're not bringing in things you shouldn't, stacks of cash, anything like that. Um, and so I uh, haven't been able to find those. So in the future, we might not bring a spray. I might bring a tube. Right. I know it'll be cheaper in the States. So yep. there's some things that we've learned from our research about good things to bring that you might want. Not too, too much. So. And the temperature here today is going to be between 79 and 86. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 79 and 86. And I suspect it'll be the same again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Into the future. This is pretty much standard. Mm -hmm. And sunrise and sunset are about 6.53 or 5.53, 5.56, something like that. Yeah. So, there. We have that as about well. About the same. Yep. 12 hours sun, 12 hours dark. Yep. Every day, year Every round. Day. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what's going on with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything you want to add? No, no. It's good to be, good to be here. Good Thanks to be for here. following along, everybody who's watching, and please subscribe. Uh, give us a like, and um, if you have any questions or comments, we appreciate that. So once again, we're going to be here tonight, and we'll be scooting out tomorrow. Now, do we go to Lake Voyageurs tomorrow? Today's Saturday. Yes. Yeah. And so we'll be, we'll be heading down to Platanillo, which is near Dominical, and we're there for about a week, and then we have a few days after that to do we don't know what yet. Right. Maybe explore other areas. So um, where we will be tomorrow <coughs> is where we're going to be staying for the four to five months, so we'll bring you along and show you what that looks like. Yes. And how we're doing with that. So that's right. pretty exciting. I was teary-eyed yesterday when... We made it to Costa Rica. We're very, very happy to be here. It yeah. was it was a joy, tears. So it was very fun. It's so. good. Yep, very good, good. Good to be back. Good to be back. Looking at our future. Yep. So uh, we will see you next Saturday. We'll be doing another video and we'll tell oh, yeah? you tell you how the week's been going and such. So uh, from us to you, adios. Ciao. <laughs>